Just a second, Wolverine fans. We're not done showing our OSU love yet. We sat down with Coach Tressel before the Ohio State Casino Night event and found out exactly what it was about his ATO experience that makes it so important for him to continue to give back to his community and to the Beta Omega chapter. You know, you're going to think it's a little bit corny, but I probably gained more of a feel for how to do that in my years as an ATO, being a part of a team that needs to be unselfish or a group that needs to be unselfish, taking on roles, whether it be you know, office roles or, or whatever it happens to be. Um, and really, a lot of the same fundamentals of building a great fraternity uh, and, and really caring a lot about one another, creating bonds that will last forever. My ATO buddies are the ones I have to get all the tickets for at the national championship games because, you know, they're my guys. And uh, same thing when I became an assistant coach and a lot of those principles of unselfishness and togetherness and team and sacrifice and discipline and, and the work ethic, all the things that uh, the people at Baldwin Wallace don't like to hear, but I probably learned more at the ATO house than I learned in my classes uh, about what I'm doing now. Because my exper first experience in recruiting was as the Rush chairman of my ATO uh, fraternity. And uh, the first thing I wanted to do was go after the right guys. You know, and, and to me, that's critical for a coach. You know, you need the right character guys. Yeah, they need to bring something to the table and they need to have some skills and, you know, redeeming qualities that you want them as a part of your group. They have to be the right kind of people. Uh, and then I think they have to genuinely understand that you care about them and uh, the follow through and the detail and, and making sure that you can provide for them the things that are within their goals. They know they're seeking something and you, you have to make sure you can uh, paint that picture you know, as to what that experience can be like. And, and so my first experience was doing it for ATO. I think the first thing, and you can't be a leader without it, is you have to have a, an ability to and a passion to serve, you know, to go outside of what's important to you and, and step out and do something that's important to someone else. I'm real par proud of the way that this chapter does that. You know, it, it could have recolonized and all that stuff just for other reasons, you know, but one of the main reasons was to serve. and. The only way we can be America's leadership fraternity is to be a servant fraternity. You know, one of the things I learned from my family, got reinforced by being a part of ATO, was that, you know, you serve others. You know, that, that's just part of, you know, uh, what we learned and, you know, Otis Allen Glazebrook and, and all that, that's what you do. You serve others and, and you do what you can to make a difference. And my dad uh, succumbed to cancer in 1981 and then my mom uh, just a few years back in 2001 and uh, it just so happens here at Ohio State we have the one, one of the greatest research institutions in the world and the James Cancer Center is one of those ones that has a passion that they're going to solve this problem of cancer and, and how it affects you know people and so we thought you know here's a way for us to try to help and you know we've slowly you know become a significant uh, thing but we want it to become an extraordinary thing and you know with the help of a lot of people and for the for the ATOs here on campus to jump in you know and, and you know step up for us and for the foundation it's it's incredible and we appreciate it. You know, I think the, the thing that we all have an innate need for is to be connected. And I think it, it gave me that connectedness that I think we all seek. Um, and it gave me the connectedness with the type of people that I admired. You know, so if, you know, I think that one thing I guess I would define is it gave me that sense of, of community or connectedness. <laughs>